Hey guys, how are you? How's everybody doing? I hope all you beautiful souls out there are enjoying the weather, <laughs> whether or not it be winter or summer or whatever. I hope you're enjoying everything that nature has to offer. Um, and then some. Jenny Satori Davis here, of course. Duh, you're here, right? Um, <laughs> I wanted to just do my normal monthly routine, which is to do a little bit of energy work for you. So there's no surprise there. And of course, before that, I always also have a message for you. Um, it's something that usually spirit wants me to share. And I am saying all this for the benefit of uh, any new listeners or watchers or whatever you want to call it, out here on YouTube, you know. Um, so that's how it goes. I'm just going to give you a few messages um, from Spirit as it comes. What happens is a lot of times I come on here and Spirit wants me to share something with you. And it's for the benefit of everybody, including myself, you know. Um, I do tend to, <clears throat> excuse me fumble and I get this thing in my throat and this is my signal to um, start talking and relay a message. <laughs> and I'm not sure where it leads generally, but hopefully it makes some sense as we continue and go down the road here. So with that being said, um, I think what I'd like to talk about is the idea of setting goals, yeah? We see this a lot. We hear this a lot. It's like um, everywhere you turn, whether it be on social media, you know, the memes, these ever popular memes, and believe me, I enjoy a good meme, but generally I like memes that are funny more than the you should do this, you should do that type of ones. I have a real aversion to generalized or general, you know, advice for everybody because I'm a big believer in there's no one size that fits all, you know, in terms of our health, in terms of life experience, life advice, I mean, rather, you know, um, what works for this person may not work for the next, you know? And so for me, my mantra that I share with everyone as often as I can is, is it working for you? You know, and we have, and through the years, if you've watched me or listened to me on podcasts and radio shows and my little articles and blogs, I always talk about direct experience and that direct experience is what should be shared more than collective experience, a collective advice, you know. Um, of course, there's always exceptions to every rule when we talk about, you know, cliches and things that I, I also say, you know, that sometimes things are cliches because they are so true, you know, but we'll go a little further and say that not every cliche is true for everyone, if that makes sense. There might be majority, in other words, right? There might be majority that, just like last month's, you know, episode, that might say the sky is blue and that's true for them, but um, there may be some people that cannot see the color blue and so on and so forth. You, if you if you can follow that train of thought there. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to goals, people are always saying, let's set goals, and that's how you do it. And you, you know, you reach one goal and then you go to the next goal and then you go to the next. I I am feeling like there's an issue with that. Um uh, in terms of how 
we operate in everyday life. Okay. So I'm going to tell you, okay, let's say you come to me and say, you know, Jenny, uh, I'm having a hard time focusing and I can't seem to get things done and so on and so forth. And I say to you, okay, well, you just need to set goals and meet them. What does that mean to you? What, what would you feel? You know, would you go, yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. Oh, I wish I would have thought of that. Or would you say, yeah, but how do I do that? Why do I have to present such pressure? You know, and because that pressure is there now, I'm completely frozen. You know, and, and that's that's the thing. It's sometimes when you are too rigid in conducting your life, you can absolutely hinder the the natural flow of things because you are wanting it this way at this time and setting that rigid bar. You know, we're here. We want here, but we're here, so now we suck, you know, or whatever. <laughs> I try to speak in simple terms, as you can tell. I mean, I because this is how I talk. I don't pretend to, you know, go on and on, um, even though I use some $5 words. Um, those are my own, too. You know, it's the name of the game is to be myself. Um, and that's another interesting component to this in terms of getting what we want, in terms of getting what we think we want, you know, um, is examine that, like, what is it that you want to do? You know, there's been people that have projected their agendas onto me, even in terms of energy work. Okay. And they're like, well, you know, you want to do it this way. You want to, oh my God, you've got to practice it this way. Like, for example, I recently started doing some pop-up lives on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And that's not really my cup of tea. I don't like to be in the spotlight. It's It was out of my comfort zone, but I had a purpose um, when I initially signed up for Instagram, and that was to do some lives, you know. But when you'll have a person such as what happened with me, you know, who says, well, you got to do more of them, and you got to keep practicing that live stuff. And well, then it becomes number one, I'm one of those people that if you tell me I got to this or I got to that, well, I ain't got to and I'm not gonna. You know, so that's number one. And I think there's a lot of people like me, too, that feel that way. But also, you can't say that to me without really knowing what my goal is, what my agenda is. My agenda has nothing to do with becoming popular and the latest, tre excuse me, trend or the, you know, the it person in terms of energy work. Um, my agenda my goal if there's any is to just help people as i can it's like this you know it's not a big goal and i've already like done that so i i'm already i've already done what i set out to do you know and if i feel like i'd like to take that further that's up to me but again it has to do with my own goals not someone's projection of what a goal is to them and with all this <laughs> roundabout you know how i do if you've watched me before but with all this roundabout the point is are we harming ourselves when we are setting certain goals you know where i have to be this by this point or else the you know or even the idea of, okay, let's look at it this way, the law of attraction mm -hmm. that we've all heard about. And I've studied, you know, tremendously for many years. Um, the thing with the law of attraction, the biggest takeaway, in my opinion, 
is to not set boundaries, limits, you know? So when you say you want a red Ferrari, okay? That's very specific, so specific that you may miss out on the blue Lamborghini. Yeah. So that's, you know, the, the idea of manifesting in a nutshell, you hinder yourself if you're too specific, you know, they always say, be specific, ask for what you want, but do you have to narrow it down to the color and the make, you know, and that these, these opinions are going to vary, but I want you to go into your heart into your own self that's how it works what kind of manifestation works for you is it that very rigid narrow thing or is it more of a free-flowing anything that looks cool and gets me to where i'm going is it is that your personality is that your energy is that your vibe then that's where you should go that's your magic where someone else's magic who might have pie charts and so on and so forth might be more potent when they do it down to that thing. But in general, to me, it feels like I need to say that living a structured life, period, can limit you very, very much. And there is such a paradox between you know, being too haphazard and being too rigid, you know, there's, there's a balance there, which I'm aware of, you know, but really, if you're every moment is timed, constructed and planned, are you really living? And living is more important than reaching these mind constructed goals and visions of what we think we should look like down the road, whether it be physically or mentally or financially or whatever. Um, we're ruining the beauty here that can be had by just living. You know, a lot of people when they think about shamans and shamanism and so on, they tend to think that having an out-of-body experience and being out of body is what it's all about, that shamans just spend all their time out there, out of their body. And the truth is, a very skilled, true, good shaman does not do that. They know that the magic comes from being here right now in the present in their body. And they take their body with them into the spirit worlds. Okay. They don't leave the body and just go, oh, well, I hope it'll be there when I get back or I hope I can get back or... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's very important to be grounded. And the point that I make here is that shamans have learned that the magic is in the earth. The earth is present and here and completely physical. So enjoy the physical here, not all this mind work, not all this planning and da 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 and do 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 do. Like, it's enough to drive you mad. Be present in the body and match the physical with the energy. Move your body. Uh, it, I can't stress that enough. It's so important to stay grounded, to stay in the body. Whoa. All right. So, hopefully, you've grabbed a few things from my little TED talk, you know that I enjoy doing my thing, not really. To be honest, I'm like, can't we just get on here and do some energy work? No, sorry. So anyway, I hope that helped you. I would like to share some energy work now with you. If you're new 
uh, all you have to do is relax and, you know, you don't have to think of anything special. You don't have to concentrate on any particular area in your body, um, but it's fine. Whatever your beliefs are in terms of this, that's good too, okay? Um, belief does have a place for everything in this world that is like the mother of manifestation in my opinion but i feel that with energy work you don't have to believe in it for it to benefit all right so with that being said just relax um i've been working with a lot of natural energy nature energy rather and so i'm going to do that today and i hope that it feels good and uh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Well, I'm not sure how long that was, but uh, that's generally I know when to stop just by stopping, you know, and that's the other part in life, isn't it? You know, follow your own intuition. I know you've heard that before, but it's so important. That's the thing. Please stop listening to this, that, the other thing. And I mean, it, it probably paralyzes you more than anything else in this world is everyone else's perspective. They're coming from that perspective because it's theirs. It's their experience, you know, and as always, you know, we're fashioned in such a way based on what we've experienced in our lives, 
our environment, our filters. The brain has this own special filtering that's done here. You know, you, we come out of in birth a certain way. And as we grow and as we observe, we start taking on our own beliefs, but still that unique filter is there. That unique brain, our brain is that unique filter. You know, some filters, it's like um, a screen on a window. You know, some are very clear and some have rust on them and some have, you know, some plant vines growing. And, you know, so when you look through it, it looks different with each of us. Okay. So view from your own filter and then go to your heart and say, am I viewing this properly? What happens? You know, once again, I'll say what happens when you remove that filter and just go straight to the heart. You know, we have eyes in our hearts. Okay. So, with that being said, thank you so much for being a part of my community, for watching and for liking and, and so on and so forth. Uh, I did share uh, some tree energy on Instagram recently, and it was just me um, pointing the energy at my screen, which I have explained in previous broadcasts here. You know, and it's when I say tree energy, first of all, it's just connecting to that particular frequency. We're all energy, as we've heard, 8 million and 12 times. But what differentiates us in terms of what we see physically with our filter is at what frequency and speed and so on does this energy vibrate? You know, what makes me, me and my laptop, my laptop, yeah? So... <laughs> When I tuned into, which I love to do, trees are my thing for sure, you know, um, when I tuned into the frequency of tree, I shared that on Instagram. Um, and I just like trying all different things and sharing um, based on what I feel, you know, even what the collective might need, even what I might need sometimes, you know. So that's uh, where it's at. That's my plug for Instagram at Jenny Satori Davis. Okay. So thank you so much once again, and I will see you next month. Bye now. <laughs> I always fumble this last part, right? Because I have to click end and stuff. I want to be totally without filter. So I screwed that up by now. See you.